Hey everyone, in this video I will talk about how to take menstrual history. The items of menstrual history are Minar, Cycle Rhythm, Cycle Link, Characters of Flow, Dysmenorrhea, Intermenstrual Period, Current Use of Contraception, and Last Normal Menstrual Period. And I will talk about each item in details. The first item we should ask about is Minar. What is Menarche? Menarche is the first menstrual flow. Timing of Menarche from 10 to 14 years without secondary sex characters and up to 16 years with secondary sex characters. It's very important to ask about Menarche because some diseases can affect Menarche. For example, diabetes mellitus, obesity and epilepsy can accelerate Menarche while a premature ovarian failure or hyperandrogenism, there is delayed menarche. What is precocious puberty and what is delayed puberty? If the pubertal changes occur before the age of nine years, it's called precocious puberty. Delayed puberty, there is absence of secondary sex characters after the age of 14 years, or there is secondary sex characters, but there is no menarche after the age of 16 years. So if there is female has no secondary sex character after the age of 14, we call it delayed puberty. If she has secondary sex characters, but there is no menarche after the age of 16 years, we call it delayed menarche. The second item we should ask about is cycle rhythm, whether the cycle is regular or irregular. Regular cycle are recurring at equal period of time, plus or minus two days. It's very important to ask about it because the irregularity in the cycle may be due to hormonal disturbance, for example, thyroid, may be due to stress or decreased hour of sleeping, may be due to junk food, or may be due to polycystic ovarian syndrome. The third item we should ask about is cycle length. What is cycle length? It's the duration from the first day of the cycle to the first day of the next cycle. Normally, it's between 21 to uh, 35 days, and the average is 28 days. If the frequency of cycle less than 21 days, it's called polymenorrhea. Polymenorrhea can happen in perimenopausal women or after abortion or after delivery. If the frequency is more than 35 days, it's called oligomenorrhea. Oligomenorrhea may be constitutional, may be due to hormonal disturbance, can occur in the first two years after menarche, or may be due to polycystic ovarian syndrome. So it's very important to ask about the cycle length. Characters of flow. We should ask about the duration, amount, color, odor, and clot. The duration normally is from two to seven days uh, bleeding through vagina. The amount normally from 30 to 80 mil total volume. The color normally dark red in color. The odor has characteristic odor. And normally there is no clot uh, due to fibrinolytic action of the endometrium. If there is increase in the duration or increase in the amount or both together, it's called menorrhagia. If there is increase in the duration alone, it's called minus taxes. If there is increase in the amount alone, it's called hypermenorrhea. Normally the color is dark red. If I found the color bright red, that this mean or this indicate excessive bleeding as some blood escape from the action of vaginal acidity. If the, the odor is offensive, offensive means that there is infection. 
if there is a clot that mean or indicate excessive bleeding because a bleeding exceed the capacity of action of the endometrium so very important to ask about the characters of a flow during taking the menstrual history this menorrhea mean painful menstruation and this pain is severe enough to incapacitate the patient and interfere her physical and social activity types of dysmenorrhea there is primary dysmenorrhea which is called spasmodic and secondary dysmenorrhea which is called congestive the primary dysmenorrhea there is no pelvic lesion and the cause of this pain is increased amount of prostaglandin and uterine ischemia this pain is suprapubic and colic pain and started several hours before the menstruation and relieved within one to three days secondary dysmenorrhea or which is called congestive there is pelvic lesion maybe a tumor maybe adenomyosis endometriosis maybe intrauterine contraceptive device maybe a inflammatory bowel disease so there is pelvic lesion the pain is dull aching pain in the lower abdomen and it started a few days before menstrual flow and with increase the menstrual flow the pain decrease so it's very important to know if the female patient has dysmenorrhea or not and what is the type of dysmenorrhea intermenstrual period the definition of intermenstrual period is the period from the last day of flow to the first day of next flow we should ask about pain or bleeding or discharge during this period current use of contraception current mean within six months so we should ask about if there is use of contraception or not the type of contraception and the duration of use lastly we should ask about the last normal menstrual period the last normal menstrual period has, has three characters number one that the cycle should be of normal character number two should be preceded by three consecutive normal cycles Th number three should not be preceded by use of hormonal contraception after taking the menstrual history how to write the paragraph here we have example about the menstrual history Minarch was at 12 years old the cycle were regular recurring every month menstrual flow was four days in duration average amount dark red color characteristic odor and no associated dysmenorrhea intermenstrual period were free from pain bleeding or discharge no current use of contraception the first day of last normal menstrual period was at july 20th 2019 thank you